So we're going to do two boxes from Ice Cream Beauty Box. Now last month was the first time I did both. I did the bag and I did the beauty box. And can I just tell you, both of them were amazing. And you guys seem to like when I put both of these together. So that's what we're going to do this month. So Ice Cream Beauty Box is an indie subscription that is definitely getting better like i'm serious boxy charm and ipsy you better be scared because these indie brands are getting ready to take your place and that's the truth so ice cream beauty box this is a beauty bag you do get five full items and um i'll leave the price and everything right here i believe it's like 12.99 but i'm not sure i don't remember let me look up real quick okay so the bag is 12 dollars and 50 cents and the box is $25 a month. All right, so let's do the bag first. All right, let me get her open. For some reason, like, I'm getting so excited for these indie subscriptions. I mean, they're just getting so good that, like, when I do get my BoxyCharm and Ipsy, like, you know, the mainstream ones, like, I still get excited because I like beauty boxes, right? But... Not as much as these indie ones now. You know what I mean? It's like how I used to be years ago when Boxy Charm, you know, it's like you couldn't wait to see a spoiler to see what was going to be in there. That's how I feel about these boxes. If you just stop talking. Okay. This is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do. Any questions? Okay, so the theme for October, it doesn't have a theme. I don't think last month had a theme either. It just says October, ice cream beauty bag, and it does have like the Halloween, you know, I guess it's the Halloween theme. And then it just tells you what everything's in here and gives you prices. Okay, so the first thing is from Pure Cosmetics, and it's a Velvet Vixen Highlighter. And what shade you be? it say moonlight and this is $22 and guys this bag is only $12 and 50 cents uh, oh no I think it's broke because when I opened it up look oh no I think it's broke look at the back oh god I'm scared to open it yes it's broke not too bad so that's what it looks like. Let me um, push it back in. It's very soft, and that's why it broke. You know how some highlighters are very soft? It's kind of like the Ofra, but I can fix this. Um, but let me do a little swatch. It's not too bad. You just need a little alcohol, very little alcohol. I use the 90%, I think that's what it is. And I just, you know, like what I do is like chop it all up, right? <laughs> bad but you know then I put a little alcohol in it and then like I smush it together then I take a paper towel and I push it down and then I let it dry for, like open for like 24 hours and then it's good to go but oh that's beautiful wow look at that look oh that's just gorgeous what in the I need to put that on let me see if I have a brush around Okay, I just picked up any brush, and let's put a little on, and let's see. I'm looking at my viewfinder. Wow, that's gorgeous. I mean, would you... Come on. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, all right, Pure. So I'm definitely excited for that. Let me wipe my hand off, because you know I'll get it everywhere. Okay, so we have that. The next thing is from Base Blue. This is a matte attraction lipstick over the hill. And let's open her up. Now, Base Blue, I always want to say blue balls every time I say it. I am on their PR team, so I believe I have this. We'll see. Um, and they finally, they came out with their first lipstick. So this is new, actually. And this is $13. Yeah, I do have it, so let me just show you. That's what it looks like. Let me go get mine. I'll put this one in a future giveaway. I don't want to open it up or anything like that. Let me go get mine. All right, so here's mine, and it's the same. I think it's over the hill. Yeah, on the hill, so it's the same one. 
and that's what it looks like. So it's small, and I'm not sure if this is a sample, because that's small for a full size, you know, but let's swatch her. That's really pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I'm really into bullet lipsticks, you know what I mean? I used to love liquid lipsticks, but now I always wear, I, t I don't say always, but I tend to mostly wear bullet lipsticks. When I film, the phone never rings until I film. Hold the phone. A few moments later. All right, that was for the hubby. All right, so we have the lipstick. The next thing it says from South, what the heck is on my hand? This is what I mean. That's why I always got to wipe everything off. Okay, now like I was saying, this is from South Maine, and this is a lip treatment for $13. And it's, look, I still got that black stuff. Where is that coming from? All right, it's in the scent Coconut. And I, you guys know how I feel about lip balms and lip treatments and stuff like that. Yes, please. All right, so I took the plastic off, and uh, that's what she looks like. Oh, and I could definitely smell the coconut. I love the way coconut smells. The only thing is, I don't, this is not my, my favorite, like when you have to stick your finger in. I mean, I don't mind. It's just me, you know, and my hands are always, like I always will have my hands clean before I go in here. Like for instance, my favorite, I got this in a BoxyCharm pop-up and this is called Pineapple Haze and it's from Truly. And let me just show you. I mean, you guys can see. Like, there's a big dip in there. And this is probably one of my favorite. Oh, my God, it smells so good. One of my favorites. This is, like, CBD infused. Um, but I use this, like, every night. Love it. So, I don't mind, but it's not my I wish it was more of a stick. You know what I mean? But that's just me being picky. All right. And last but not least, we have a palette. Okay, so I said there was five things, but it's four. One, two, three, four. And I'm not... There is something all over that I keep getting black stuff on, and I have no idea what it is. What the hell are you talking about? But for four things, for $12.50, I mean, come on. So we have a palette. I mean, a full-size palette. And this is called Amuse Witching Hour Palette, and it's for $15. Ew, that's pretty. So it has plastic all around it, which I like. So let's open that up. So you just slide this out. Okay, and it has the same pattern. So let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so you have a nice mirror. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that. Look how pretty. Look at the marble. And the mirror is very, very nice. That is just gorgeous. I got to swatch this yellow. Look at that. Let's do this shade. Oh my God, this is like a duochrome. All right, let's just do two just to see. And look at that. They're both shimmer shades. The only thing is, see when I go in with my finger to swatch it, you don't really see the marble anymore. That's the only thing, like the packaging is pretty, but if you go for a swatch, you do kind of mess it up. I'm sure like with the brush, you know, it'll take more time to do it with the finger you're going around it, but it's just beautiful. That's really, really nice. All right. I cannot wait to use this. Okay. So let's recap everything that is in the ice cream beauty bag. So you have the palette, you have the lip treatment, you have the highlighter, which is broken. I can fix it, but I mean, it, I mean, she's pretty. That's gorgeous. And then you have the, almost said blue balls, you have the base blue, a brand new lipstick, which I already have, but it's, it's like brand new to their, their company. You know what I'm saying? So $12.50. Yes, please. All right. Let me go put this down and then we'll get the, the box. That's $25 a month. All right. So this is how it comes. Let's cut the tape open. All right, and the theme for the October box is Beauty Tricks and Treats. And then you get five full-size items, and it just gives you the uh, items and the prices. And then it always comes like this. So, let's 
take these pieces out. Okay, so the first thing is from Marabella. This looks like something with the eye. I don't know if it's a eye crown, it says. In the shade semi-sweet. Yeah, I love chocolate. And this is $20. Jesus. I don't get into this type of stuff, you know. I, I really need to, but I don't. All right, so that's what it looks like. And it's like a purplish brown. I'm going to swatch it because I will use these for my waterline. I don't tend to use it for like eyeshadow, you know. And it's like a brown. Like a purplish brown, I guess. Very pretty. It'll go great for my for my waterline. I don't know about $20, but Maribel is expensive anyway, you know. It's kind of like a Bella Pierre and Manica Dar, prices like that, you know. Okay, the next thing is from Doe Color. And I guess, I think these are eye brushes, right? Yeah, this is a Doe Color Rose Gold brush set for $16. Okay, so you get four eye brushes. I don't want to take it out of the packaging because I'll definitely put this in a future giveaway. I have so many eye brushes, but um, they look really nice. I know the ring light, so maybe there you can see it. So you get four eye brushes for $16. You can't beat that, you know? I just seen something in here like, I can't, oh my God. Okay, the next thing is from Crown Brushes. And this says, Crown Bro Studio Glam Stick Liner Shadow for $9. And I'm not going to open it. It looks like a cream color. And I know I won't use this. I mean, yes, I could put it in my waterline. But it looks a little bit more like satiny. And I don't tend to wear that type of stuff. I like more matte stuff in my waterline. So I'm going to put this in a future giveaway. And for 9 bucks, I mean, that's not bad, you know? All right, so we have that. Two more items. Okay, Bella P here. I just got done talking about that brand. So this is a 12 color pro matte lip palette. And this puppy is, you know when I get my money glasses. I have not got my money glasses on for a long time. This right here is $50. Holy cow. Okay, and there are all the lipstick shades right there. You get a lot. You can even mix them. You know, like you could take the blue and, and you know, you can make it different colors. So you can custom do it. Do your shade. And that's what I do. I use like three to four different lipsticks to make one shade. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about $50 though. But that's, uh, that's great to get in a subscription box. And last but not least, like... When I seen this last month in this box, I was like doing cartwheels. So we have another Ace Beauty palette. Now the last time we got the, like the pinkish color. This is the Paradise Follow Fallen. I don't have any of these right here. Let me see how much it is. $35, and this is only a $25 box. I mean, Ace Beauty is in like boxing charm and stuff. So to have this in an indie subscription, is amazing. <gasps> These colors. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Anne. Get it together. All right. So you have a nice mirror, but let me show you these colors. Look at the purples and blues. I mean, does that say Anne? Yes, it does. And I'm definitely going to swatch them. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> I took like all the purples. When I first start getting into makeup, I used to say, I never wear purple. I don't like purple. I'm going to go back in with that silver. Anytime I do a swatch of my pinky, I never can get it right. And there we go. I don't know about the purple, I mean, the, the silver shade, but these are just gorgeous. Anyway, when I, I was like, I'll never wear purple. I don't look right in purple because, you know, like orangey and cinnamons, that was color to me. But now I love purple. I love the way it looks on my eyes. Okay, what am I doing? I don't know. I'm so excited. Get it together. All right, so let's recap everything you get in the October's box. You have an Ace Beauty palette. You have a Bella Pierre um, lip thing. Like I said, I don't get into this. isn't my cup of tea, but it's nice to have this in a subscription box. You know what I mean? Then you have this shadow stick, which is nice. You have... Um, 
this, what is it called? Marabella eye thingy, you know, right here. Like I said, I'll use that for my waterline. You have a, four makeup brushes. Yeah, and that's everything. I think this is great. I said this last month, and I'm saying it again this month. In my opinion, Ace, Ace Beauty, <laughs> oh my God, Ann. Um, Ice Cream Beauty Box is getting up to where, like, Fashion stuff is. I'm serious. Like, for an indie subscription that's only been up for about a year or somewhere around there is so much better than some of these mainstream boxes. I mean, it's all makeup, you know? And you get, like I said, I know I talk about Ipsy and BoxyCharm. The reason why I talk about them is because they're well-known. They're more established. They've been in the game longer, right? But they're turning into skincare boxes, which there's a lot of people that enjoy skincare and want to get that. But it's like... If you want to all makeup, if you're the type of person that just wants makeup, these indie boxes are the ones that you guys need to look at. And I and I mean that. All right, guys, let me know what you think of these, both of the bags and the box. Let me know. I do have a code. It's just Anne in all caps. I don't make anything out of it. It's just for you guys. So if you want to sign up, I will put everything in the description box. Use my code. That way you get to save some money. I think it's about 10% off. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that's everything. All right, guys. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.